Hey, hello there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be planting up one of these things. Now, this is a hydroponics planter. It's got a hollow middle. In fact, I'll show you that with the dry one. It's got a hollow middle, which you fill with water. And the water then bleeds out very slowly through the sides to keep whatever you've strapped to the outside of this thing watered. And obviously as the water slowly bleeds out and uh, eventually evaporates, you just keep it topped up. I've had this one with water in now for about four days or so, and I've had to top it up once. It dropped from this level mm, down to about here. So it lost an inch in four days. Now this planter is from a company called Vert Planter. Um, they're a Chinese company and they saw some previous videos that I did on like hydroponic stuff and so on. Asked if I would like to take a look at these, so obviously I said yes. They're a three-part system in that you've got a cap, you've got a main pot which gets filled with the water, and then you've got a base that the pot sits in. That will slowly collect water. In fact, in four days, yeah, it's next to note in there. In four days, that's how much this one has collected. It's literally just a dribble in the bottom. Obviously, as you plant it up, the roots of the plant will probably hang down into there and draw that up. If it comes near the top of the reservoir, the, the bottom part of the planter, you would simply just Take the top off and pour that back in. Because these things are terracotta, they're porous, so in the UK you wouldn't use these outside because if they became wet and then they got frosted in the winter, boom, they would just explode. They would literally fall apart. And any clay pot would do that, unless it was treated with some sort of like silicon. You can get ones that are dipped in silicon, but obviously you can't do that with these ones because you want the water to bleed through it. And you can see how wet this one is compared to this one, because this one is the one that's full of water. If I turn it round, you can see that it's coming out very evenly. Now, because this one is already full of water, just to demonstrate what it looks like when it is full of water, i.e. it's slightly moist on the outside, we'll move that one out the way, because it's going to be very hard to plant that one up. And we'll concentrate on the dry one. I'm basically going to strap ferns, moss, uh, what else have we got in there? We've got a little bit of wood rush, we've also got some wood sorrel that was growing in amongst the moss. I've been out with my foraging basket just collecting stuff in my local woods. The forest floor is just full of moss, it's full of all sorts of this stuff. Scraping it off the rocks and so on, it will grow back. Foraging moss and uh, ferns and that isn't a problem. No matter what people tell you, like, hey, you can't do that, no, 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 shut up man. Just go out and forage whatever you can. Woodland is such a provider of stuff and it'll grow back in no time. So I'm going to strap selected ferns and mosses onto here using fishing nylon. And as long as I get the fishing nylon tight enough, the plants should just grow through it and hide it. So from day one, it might not look perfect, but as long as I can get everything secured to the outside, by the time I fill this up and the water starts bleeding through, it should water them and they should respond. They should start to grow, you know? This is eight pound nylon. It's almost invisible. You can probably see the light reflecting on it a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty much invisible. Oh, and before I get started, I should say, if you're interested in these, I will put the link to where you can buy them in the video description and also in the pinned comment. So check them out. So the first thing I'm doing is just attaching the nylon to an elastic band. And then I'll stretch that over the pot, like so. And that gives me something to get started with. 
hopefully you can see that on the bottom there. So if we start with a bit of moss, slap it on there, and that's going to work pretty well. I'll give it a I'll give it a couple of turns. There you go, that's strapped on. So I'm going to repeat that process all the way around with the various things we've got here. I'll probably speed up the footage and then when it's done, I'll let you have a good look at it. Then in order to secure it, I'm just lifting up a piece of nylon, slipping the end of my cut, cut nylon through it. That's it, and then I'll just tie that off, keeping everything nice and tight. Champion, that's it. Took me all of about five minutes. <laughs> there you go, there's about five or six different types of moss. Wood rush here. Don't know whether you can see, but there's uh, wood sorrel, heart's tongue fern, that'll come out. Uh, some other little miniature fern. And God, there'll be all sorts else in here. I don't, I don't really know what else there is, but you know, when that gets established and everything starts to, you know, well, flourish, hopefully, that'll look beautiful. It'll look really nice, you know, and it doesn't need to be in a light part of the room either. Could be in a dark room, could be in quite a cold room. You know, it wouldn't really matter. Fill that with water. And we're good to go. So there you go. <laughs> now there's easily enough stuff there for me to plant the other one up. So I'll do that. We'll give them both a week or so to perk up and kind of, you know, well, start drawing in the water and come back to life a little bit and then i'll give you an update thanks for watching and remember if you're interested in these things check out the link in the video description and also in the pinned comment right then this is only two days later and already everything that i've put on here has responded so the water is obviously coming through the outside 
you know, when I planted that up, everything looked a little bit tired, a little bit knackered, it was hanging. Look at that though, it's come back. I think it looks pretty nice. I would quite like to see that in a bedroom. You know, and you can only just imagine the amount of oxygen that that is going to release into the room. And the only care that it needs is a bit of water in the top now and again. And this is the other one I planted up. In fact, I think this is the one that I filmed being planted up, so it's got a little bit more to it, this one. Loads of wood sorrel on there, you can see that's all perked up. You can actually eat that as well, it's got quite like a, a bitter sort of a taste. Uh, like, sorry, not bitter, more like a sour sort of a taste. You've got your wood rush, your ferns, mosses, all sorts on there. I like the look of that.